What's up everybody and welcome back to Ransom of the Seven Ships. It has been a long time since I've sat down and recorded for this game. Um, for a number of reasons. One is that Super Mario Odyssey came out and I had to play through that off screen and just enjoy it on my own. It was so much fun. But now I'm ready to get back into Nancy Drew. I was sick this past week so I didn't get to record as soon as I wanted to. But I'm here now and we are going to work on decoding this book that we got here. So let's see what we got. Um, we can look at a cross section of this apparently. So this word appears a lot, so I'm going to assume this is the. Oh, whoops. You have to do one letter at a time apparently. Okay. All right, so how does this help us? That looks pretty good. I don't see any red flags with any of the words. Um, this could be of or in. Maybe with? Uh, I'm inclined to say with, because this could be where. Let's, let's go with with. And this is definitely where. Okay. Hurricane? I can definitely see this being a hurricane. Do, 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 do. I'm going to be like humming this music so much. Winds? Okay, that looks good. Change course. This looks correct. Alright, that's good. Alright, in the something of night. Black of night? That would probably be the most sensible. Yeah, so far this is all looking good. Alright, in the black of night with hurricane winds wailing and giant waves. This has to be pounding. Yeah. I ordered fleet to change course and make, I guess? Oh, I ordered my fleet. My fleet to change course and make for land. But with this island in sight, the Caridad foundered and disappeared into the sea. While the Castadad was set ablaze, yep, when lightning ignited her sails and sank amid the smoke and flames, the remaining five ships managed to reach the island, where we dropped anchor and waited out the tempest. All right, so that all looks good. Oh, we have to do this again? So wait a minute. Do any of these things correspond? So that's O. Would that be O over here? I'm going to say not, because that's that would only be five O's in that maze. Yeah, I think this is something different. All right, this doesn't look quite as easy as the first one. So this could be A or I, I suppose. Um, hmm, I don't really feel confident about either of those options. Is this the? I mean, if this is the, this could be like two. Let's let's go with that for now. Okay, well, that's also not many O's. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be hung up on that. Ooh, this could be as a or if I or something like that. Uh, mm, I'm feeling less confident about this being... Oh, wait, no, I can't change it. So I guess that's right then. Is that right? No, because I can change it. Well, no, I... What? So both those are wrong? I apparently can't change the T and the O. So this is not A or I. That is really strange. Alright, I think... I'm going to say this is, this is most likely I. Whoops. Which means this is F? No, that can't be wrong. Or that can't be right. That's, that's definitely not it. Okay, we, we need to start that part over. So this is not the up here. Oh, I can change H. Am I just clicking wrong? I'm just clicking wrong. Okay, never mind. So these could all be wrong. Uh. Okay, forget the last, like, minute there just happened. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm gonna start this over. Let's let's start this over. You have to click on the actual symbol. You don't click on the letter. That's that's what's going on there. So this word starts with the same letter apparently, but it kind of veers off into different directions. Okay. There's two. Th there are three two-letter words. Wow. What are these really long ones? Oh man. Maybe this is the. Let's try that. That's. The night, maybe? The night. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Okay, I, I'm feeling a lot better about this than that last attempt. This word, though, looks. I don't know what this would be. That looks a little strange. A? I'm going to say A on that. I think that's... Well, that's really the only option if this is going to be night, so... Hmm. Catastrophic, I think, would make the most sense here. Okay, so that would mean this is either on or of. I'm going to say it's of, because this is where the only place we see this letter. And I would like to think that... Oh, wait, we've already had uh, N over here. Okay, never mind. Catastrophic damage? Is that it? Damage, alright. Hmm... Wait, because this could be light. Yeah, shall makes way more sense. The light of dawn revealed catastrophic damage. Only a third of my men survived. Worse, not one of my ships is salvageable. <clears throat> None shall ever sail again. We are shipwrecked. The only hope we have of ever leaving this accursed place is to be seen by a passing ship, lest it be a pirate ship, I've undertaken to hide our cargo as a loyal servant of the king. It is my duty. Alright, that's good. Okay, now for page three. How many more of these? Is this the last one? I guess this is the last one. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I forgot to start the timer for this episode, but I think we've been going for about ten minutes now. Maybe less. I think this is probably going to be I, because he's narrating this in the first person, so... I'm not seeing any other single letter things anywhere here, so I'm going to put that as I. Okay, is there anything that would easily be the? There's a lot of three letter words I'm seeing here, but none that I've seen that repeat. Well, except for... where is it? This one. Is this the? I'm going to say this is the. Seven ships, wait, I know this is seven ships that involved here, so that seemed a little bit obvious. Seven pieces, seven ships set sail, and so seven pieces shall open the seal. I have tasked each surviving, makes most sense, ship's crew? Yeah, with hiding a single item. Its location known only to them and to me. Securing the treasure itself shall be my task alone. I write in English so that no one here with me will know how to find it. In this manner, any attempt to force the location of the treasure for my men will be fruitless. Okay, is that everything? Okay. So can we actually read... These sections are still encoded, and in a very weird way. Okay. Maybe I should keep my eyes peeled for something that will help me break the code. Alright, so, okay, so now we can actually read more of the journal here. Um, let's see what we've got here. Apparently, we, there's something here that we need to find that guides the way to a dove in a watery grave. Okay, we don't know what that is. A bounty of seafood at Half Moon Reef. Divers swim down to the secret entombed. Oh, that looks important. Two form a perfect square times three. Three create four. Four makes five. Then they return to the surface prize in hand. 
Okay, that's a puzzle. Uh... Okay, so this one has to do with lifting some rocks. Oh, does this have to do with this pulley thing? Okay. We don't know what this means, but it looks like that's important. Uh, Alright, there's a lot of stuff here. Danger, heed this warning. Death awaits all who enter these caves unprepared. Poisonous guardians of the deep strike with no warning. Stay away! Only those who something will find their way. Oh, man. That sounds really nasty. Okay, apparently things are getting kind of tense here with the surviving crew. A two-rule code of conduct to bring order to the six? What does that mean? <laughs> I guess the one thing that's actually kind of nice is that I've somewhat forgotten some of this game now. <laughs> so, I'm not going through it blind, but it's... Some of this I'm, I'm having to remember now. All right. Follow the rules, order will have doors open for them. Those who do not will be shut out. Uh oh. Humilidad. Um. Hey, some of these letters are like black. I don't know what that means. Okay. And this is a puzzle. Alright, so we got lots of puzzles. That's what I'm getting out of this. Wait a minute. Was that first part? Did we read that? Hang on. Oh, hey, we didn't read this. Oh, this is what we decoded, de decoded here. Okay. Okay, so I think that's about it. That's pretty cool. This looks like some sort of... I don't know what this thing is. Dove Isle Half Moon Reef. Wait a minute, Dove Isle. Flying Dove? Alright. Let's actually do some exploring here. We haven't done that yet. We just met that Johnny dude, so we need to actually go out and check stuff out. And whoop, we're not going back in there. Okay, so, first of all, what do we have? I need to uh, remember what we have here. We've got a shovel, which we use to dig up the stuff. We've now got the bat tracker, which is pretty cool. Um, we don't really know what we're doing with that yet. That's the directions. I feel like we need to go sailing. We haven't really been sailing yet. Uh, we got Sunny June's notebook. What is? Oh, that's the sail, right? Um, did Johnny tell us about? He did tell us about getting something from one of the monkeys, didn't he? Why is the game being jerky here? This frame rate is bothering me. Is this only because it's recording? Because I don't remember this happening before. You know what, let's go to the monkey first, just to see what we can find. I think he talked to us about the six-fingered one, or six-toed one, or something like that. Okay, I have no idea what's going on with this frame rate. This is really kind of bothering me. Okay, there. Oh, nope. I was going to say, we had a little glimmer of hope there, but not quite. Okay. I think you do have to come back to these monkeys... I think this is the six-toed one. Yep, okay. You have to come back to these monkeys to get specific things for them. Really know how to play a game? Oh, good, it's this one. I like this game. Okay, so I don't remember if we played on this board yet, but I'm going to start off by doing this one. That looks right. Okay, I think when Nancy comments that looks right, that's like the optimal move. So I'm going to go by that. Apparently that wasn't very good. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, man. Okay. Let's go for this one. That may have... Well, no, that was... Oh, now I can't get that one. Yeah, we may have failed this pretty badly. Um, Because now I can't get this one or this one. Your move. Mm, I don't like the look of this. Now I have to do green. Really? Green is going to be bad, because I, I really can't do any good ones with green. This one I can do, though. Yeah. Blue, I can do this one at that least. Right. Okay, so it's not a runaway victory for him. 
Um, this one? Perfect. Good. Well, neither of us can get this one then, so that's, I guess, a good thing. Hey, my dryer's going off. Now I go. Now you go, Nancy. That is right. Uh, let's do that this looks one. Right. I don't like the look of this. I don't know if you'll ever get into a deadlock with this setup. That should do it. Uh, we're on green, are we? I guess this. Oh, he's gonna get that one right there. Yeah. Can't do that. I guess we're losing this. Oh, I can get the little tiny. Yeah. I think that's the first time I've lost this game. Can't go there. Let's see. Can't go there. Yeah. You're the winner. And we have to watch that animation again. Oh well, let's do it again. I would like to play a game, would you? Are we gonna get the same board? Oh, we're getting a different one, okay. That's cool. Um Which one should we start off with? I feel like this one's a good bet. But there are definitely some nice ones here, like this one. Let's go for this one first. Open up with a strong move. And now we'll go for this one. That should do it. It's interesting how the way these things connect really forces you to, to try certain things. Um, I wish I could tell which one is the most optimal one pretty easily. This one looks pretty decent, though. For green. Let's go with that one. Okay, so blue, I feel like this is the best one. I'm trying to be more careful about the colors I'm choosing here. Um, hmm. I really need to start going for these, but this one is so nice, though. Okay, he's going over there. I can't go any of those with green. So... What should I do with green? This one looks pretty chunky. I like chunky. That looks right. Yeah, okay, that looks right. That's good. Oh, you little sneak. Really? So this is five, six, seven, eight. This is seven. Okay, so let's go with... Well, there may be better ones. This is seven. This is eight as well. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay. Green... Can we really do much substantial damage with green? I guess we could do that. Okay, now we can do this one. This is going to be close. Uh, oof. Yeah, this one. Oh wait, that was green? Oops. Oh boy. Perfect. Okay, I think that's all I can really do with blue now. Mm. I think I'm going to go... Because he's going to do red next, right? Yeah, let's do this. No, he can't do this one. Or this one. I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's go with this one. That that's, do it. that's the best one. My turn. And this one we can do blue on. That's what's nice about that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now let's do that. Okay, he definitely can't get us now. So the nice thing is that he got that one that one here, so we can actually freely do this. Got it! Alright. Yeah, it looks really nice. Wait, is there still another thing to fill? 
Oh, this one. There we go. Alright, there's the pulley thing. Cool. Weren't we supposed to get something from for Johnny from the monkeys, or did we already do that? It's definitely not you. Are we supposed to do this throwing thing? Do you really know how to play a game? Let's just do it and see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so the small one's there, there. Okay, let's just keep an eye on those. Okay, whoop. Ah! Missed. Nope. I'm wasting stuff. This is not good. Okay, let's just back away. I'm really bad at the I throwing like game. game with you. I wonder who's controlling all these. Like, how does that work? Oh, never mind. Okay, we're doing really well here, I think. Yeah, we got him to waste it. Okay, good. We got a nice head start. Okay, the little one's going to come up again? No? There we go. Oh, I, I didn't get to use all mine. That's alright. There we go. Oh man, we were smoking him. Yeah! Nice! Okay, there's nothing here, so I'm going to assume that we got what we needed. What is this, though? Let's grab it. I don't know what that is. I feel like this game has a lot of Easter eggs that reference a lot of the other games, like that item that Johnny showed us. I, I recognize it, but I don't know where it's from, and someone in the comments will probably tell me. Uh, in fact, by the time this is uploaded, somebody probably commented on the last video and told me, but I wouldn't have seen that by now, so I don't really know what that is. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this pulley back to the blue hole. Let's see if we've, uh, we can do something with that. I'm going to have to relearn how to navigate here. I really like how happy this music is. All right. Blue hole's here somewhere, right? Where are you? I see a blue hole there, but that looks like a less like a hole and more like a inward water thing. I can English, guys. I, I promise you, I can. It's been kind of a tough week with this cold. Like normally, I get over sicknesses pretty quickly, but this one was just really nasty. I don't know what it was, but it was just really nasty. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if this will help. And here it is. Does this not go here? Oh, wait. Do we need rope first? Wait, no. We got the rope right there. What am I missing here? We can't lift that. And there's nothing I can do here, but there's rope there. Oh, wait. Do I have to put it there? Oh, there. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we can start moving stuff around here. Yeah, so let's see if this works. And pull? Oh, wait, that resets. Okay. Oh, so that doesn't show a second one. It just shows the loop thing there. Alright, so that uses all the loops, so let's pull on it! Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and say right now, this puzzle I do remember, because when I first played the game, I actually did not realize what that animation was trying to tell me, and that is that these rocks here in the middle will break the rope, and you don't want that to happen. So, um, where's the journal? Here it is. So here, in the journal... 
this diagram here, what this is showing you is it shows you the amount of feet each direction goes. So for instance, this is three, um, this is four, this is seven going all the way there, then this is somehow only one, and two, and then five, three, and one. So you need 30 um, feet left to raise this. I thought you had to go like way, like as far as you could. Like I thought you had to go like down to seven feet or something like that, but it's really only 30 feet. Um, the trick is you can't cross those rocks. And I didn't realize that the whole time, so I was like, I'm going like exactly 30 feet or even more than 30 feet, but the problem was is that if you do it and touch these things, you're pretty much toast, so you can't do that. Um, that is not good. Let's reset. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's good. That is not. Okay. Uh, let's do this, 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 this. Will 23 feet be too much? Oh wait, we crossed a thing? What? Are there other rocks I'm just not seeing here? Like, is that... Or is that just the animation we always get, even if it's like too... Oh wait, this is the rock. Oh, that's the problem. Okay, I'm being blind and silly here. Okay, so that will not work. We can't do that. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we can't do that. It's weird, you can do that if you cross from there to there. But that's because you're going into this loop, whereas you go from here to here. Somehow, oh, it's the same loop though, but it's it goes from... That's really odd. I don't know why it does that. Huh, okay. Yeah, so you can't go back. So I can go over there, but I can't go back. That's going to be interesting. What about this way? That works. That's pretty cool. Oh, really? Okay. So there, there... There, there, there. No, too much. No, wait, wait, wait. So you have to end it there to make this really work. Okay. That's not going to work. I don't know if that counts. Yep, that got it. All right, we'll we'll figure this one out, guys. We'll, we'll get it. No sweat. Boy, this music got really dramatic here. Okay, so he goes back on the the wrong thing. Okay, so you can't do that either. Oh, I feel like that's a nice route, but I. Yeah, you can't start there like that. And you can't go up. So you really can't just go up from here to here. That's what I'm understanding here. Hmm. She's going to say something like it's too heavy or something. It's too heavy. Yeah. Man, what are we missing here, guys? No. Apparently that's wrong, too. Nope, that's not going to work. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. What if we do it this way? Yeah, there we go. It's too heavy. Wait. That's still too heavy? I mean, it's over the the feet. It is does that have to be exactly 30? Let me read that again. Make sure it's 30. Need 30 feet left to raise. So it has to be exactly 30. That is really odd. Okay, don't do that. Okay, I feel like we, we had this right before. It was like that. Like this, that, 
that, that. So apparently this is still too heavy. It's too heavy. Huh. I feel like once I discovered that rock thing, this became a lot easier, but for some reason, on this go-around, this is not working out so well. Wait a minute. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Please work. Yeah, look at what we got here. Whoa, look at all those things just kind of came out there. That was kind of cool. All right, we got another one of these dial doohickeys. That's pretty awesome. I do like me some dial doohickeys. All right. Um, how are we doing on time here? We're, I think we're coming up on 30 minutes, so we should probably stop. Wait, that's the... There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prepare to go sailing. And I'm going to drive back, if I can remember my directions, that is, over to the resort thing. And we're going to install that sail. And you can see there in our upper left corner that the scuba uh, tank is filled up, which is really good because we need to go diving somewhere, probably. Um, wait, do we, oh wait, do we have to stand all the way back here and do this? We do, okay. I feel like that's something you need to get up close and personal to install, but oh well. All right. And we got some, oh, we're back. <laughs> the, the boat just drifted like I didn't even touch the keyboard and it just went back alright guys next time we're going to go ahead and go sailing and hopefully we can make some good progress with that um, we got a lot to look for I think we need to find Johnny's beacon in order to get a battery from him um, and that should be useful for the bat thing and we also need to just look around in general so we'll discover more of that next time but until then, guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you on the flip side. So take care, and see you next time.